people are doing well let me start with a brief self introduction i am dr asmita sahu i have completed my phd in physics from bits pilani rajasthan and also worked as dst women scientist i have teaching experience in undergraduate and intermediate levels further i have taught in different engineering colleges affiliated to jntu hyderabad now i would like to share with you people why i am doing these videos and what are the concepts which will be covered in this series actually during my working with different engineering colleges and after that also many students have approached me to clarify some concepts of applied physics and engineer physics so i thought of making some interesting videos which will be beneficial to all the students so this is how i have brought this model series on applied physics for btech students studying in different engineering colleges affiliated to jntu hyderabad the modules are based on rit syllabus nevertheless some topics are common for r13 and r15 syllabus as well now let us have a glimpse on the modules to be covered in this lecture series if you will go through all the modules sincerely you will definitely get a good score in your exam and starting with the course applied physics for this there will be five modules corresponding to the five units prescribed in the jntuf syllabus so now we will start with module 1 the first module is designed for unit 1 of the syllabus that is quantum mechanics as you all know to study the behavior of matters generally we are using laws from classical mechanics like newton's laws of when the size of matter reduces to microscopic level for macroscopic level we are using classical mechanics so when the size is reducing to microscopic level these laws fails to explain the things properly here comes the quantum mechanics which describes the behavior of matter in different micro and nano devices so understanding of these concepts will help you to explore different advanced fields like nanotechnology nano electronics quantum computing quantum cryptography etc if possible we will have one session to brief these technologies at the end of this module the second module is designed for unit 2 of the syllabus that is semiconductor physics the knowledge of semiconductor physics is of great importance because in this electronics era this is the fundamental to all electronic devices like your smartphone camera laptops and many more the basic units of all these devices are integrated circuits made up of different semiconductor devices further you people are the master minds who will be developing much faster energy efficient devices in future so it is very important in fact essential to understand the basics of semiconductors to start your great journey now to brief about unit 3 let me show you something what is this a fluorescent bulbs and what about this one this is a tube light many of you might have seen this during your childhood so these are some of the lights used in early days of course many people are still using these types of lights but nowadays most of the traditional lights are being replaced with a different type of energy efficient lights can you guess what is that right guys these are nothing but led lights made up of light emitting diodes which is a semiconductor diode further you guys must have heard about green energy sources like wind energy tidal energy etc but the most significant fraction of green energy is generated from solar energy right for this 
solar cells are used which are made up of photodiodes so these are some of the interesting things for which we need to go through module 3 so in the third module we will learn about some of these semiconductor based optoelectronic devices in which light energy is being converted into electrical energy or vice versa in the next module that is in fourth module we will be discussing an amazing technology which has made the communication so fast that we can have any information just by a click about few decades ago to get some information from the internet we have to wait for a long time after putting the web right but today the internet speed has increased by many folds do you know how is this happening what is the technology behind this so let me give a clue to guess it i think all of you must have seen this type of light what are the string like structures over here yes right these are nothing but optical fibers so use of these optical fibers for the transmission of signals has increased the speed with reduced attenuation in present technology a single strand of optical fiber can transmit signals from more than 500 users simultaneously so in this module we will learn about the structure and function of optical fibers and lasers so now in the last module that is the fifth module which is designed for unit 5 of the syllabus that is electromagnetism and magnetic properties of materials do you know in the year 2000 most of the telephones were landline so is that time very few people were using cell phone a cell phone call was costing about 3 to 4 times that of landline so now you people cannot imagine to live without wireless connectivity, right? So how these wireless connections happens? Who carries your signal from your mobile phones? How it is moving so fast? So because those are in the form of electromagnetic signals. So the concepts of this module will help you to have better understanding in the future courses related to wireless communications like antenna, satellite communications, etc. In this, we will be covering electrostatics, magnetization, magnetic materials, applications of magnetic materials, dielectrics. I hope you will have a great learning in this educational journey starting from module 1 to module 5. Further, each module is divided into number of sub-modules which will be discussed as we progress. After completion of each module, I will be discussing some important questions and numericals which will help you to prepare well for your semester exam and to come up with flying colors. Okay? So, I have also planned for some doubt clarification sessions but for that you have to like the videos and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my lectures. Also, don't forget to share the videos with your friends. Nevertheless, as submodules are interrelated, I strongly recommend that you should listen to all the videos to have perfect learning. Anyways, if you have doubts, I am there to help you out. So, feel free to put your queries in the link provided. In the next class, we will start our amazing journey with module 1. That is quantum mechanics. Thank you and have a great day. We will meet in the next class. Bye bye.